Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about this, my free course I'm releasing uh, that covers async JavaScript. Sort of introduce you all the moving parts and get you up and going so that you can work efficiently with those APIs and just know what tools you have natively available to you. I want to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've had the pleasure of visiting their Provo, Utah campus back in the day, as well as uh, talking with some of the management there. And they really are focused on getting their students prepped up and gaining the skills to join the working world. And that's what I think a coding bootcamp should be about. So if you're interested in checking out their quality assurance program, the UI UX, IOS, full stack web development program, I highly suggest you check them out at devmountain.com. All right, so this course covers really all aspects of asynchronous JavaScript to get you up and going and so that you're familiar with it. And it's one of the more crucial things that a developer needs to know, especially if you want to be a well-paid developer. Uh, being able to understand how the difference between synchronous code and asynchronous code, oftentimes we're just talking about really utilizing APIs, is a crucial aspect of uh, front-end development specifically. And that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about how we're going to handle that uh, natively in JavaScript. So you can see here the course is about 35 minutes. Uh, it'd be a little bit longer, but in your final project, I actually don't do the project, not because I'm lazy or anything like that, but because by the end of it, I've introduced you to all the topics that you're going to need to know to be familiar with promises in depth and, and fetch and API calls so that you can go and build it yourself. So what are we going to be covering in this course? Well, uh, we're going to be covering asynchronous JavaScript. Now, there was one item that we didn't talk about which are the new response objects that may be added in. The reason I didn't want to add it in right now is it's not made, it's not supported by IE at all. Who really cares about that? But a lot of other browsers are only supporting certain aspects of it and it's still experimental. But at a later date, once it removes that experimental tag, we'll then go and update this course, add some additional content. But uh, you'll see we're going to cover synchronous code versus asynchronous code. We're going to talk about how to resolve promises, how to reject promises, the static method race, promise race, promise all. We're also going to talk about fetch and uh, JSON, async await, try catch finally. And um, you'll see here that I've included uh, a couple, couple items here, is that by the end of this course, you'll be able to utilize the JSON placeholder uh, type e code API, which I've included some basic mockups just to give you some imagination. Sometimes people struggle a little bit with that. And down here, we actually go into a little bit more deeper detail about it. So uh, why is asynchronous code important? Well, um, and by the way, if you're interested in the course, there's a link in the description below where you can help me out. Now, this is a premium course. So uh, with me saying it's free, it's, it's a premium course, meaning you have to use Skillshare, but with the link that I've provided down below, you'll get um, two months for free for signing up. So um, if you're not familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is a platform where they have free courses, completely free, not like premium courses like this. Uh, and then they have their premium courses where you release courses and for $10 a month, you get access to all the users' courses. You can kind of think of it like Udemy, where you play, pay a, fat, a flat fee and get access to it. And, and again, with the link in the description below, you'll get access to two free months. So essentially, you can try it out. You don't have to pay for the course. You don't have to sign up. You just got you got to sign up and give it a shot. Um, but if you don't like it or you just want to do the course, you can cancel it. So, um, you know, the the reason I don't do this, do the actual, and that's why I call it solo project here. It's really a CRUD application. And the CRUD application, I think, is an excellent project for you to get comfortable with asynchronous code. I also think a CRUD application is perfect for your, for your portfolio as you're getting comfortable. The reason for it is a lot of junior developers, when they're first getting going, uh, especially in the front end, you're not necessarily going to be designing nice things or implementing good UIs or building complex applications. What you're going to be building are CRUD applications, back office tools, things to maybe manage items, manage users that are going to make the business run a little bit better. And that's what's so so great about this sort of uh, so it's what why that type of project is so good is it's going to give you something that's very real world for you to get your hands on. And uh, each one of these sections is pretty short. In the past, my my videos have my courses have been very long. 
And I'm kind of trying to take a step back from it and, and deliver a bite size sort of here are the meats and potatoes of things. And um, I think we do a good job of that. And, uh, you know, I talk a little about, about who I am. I also talk about setup. I think setup is one of those things that people always need to know because they're always curious. What are you using? Why isn't it working in my machine? And uh, we dive into all the things I mentioned before. But, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I wanted to put something out there uh, that, you know, is available to pretty much anyone who uh, wants to give Skillshare a, sh a shot. Uh, again, check out the link in the description below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, um, support my Patreon notifications, all that sort of stuff. And if you want another mini course like this, let me know in the comments below. Is there something that you want me to dive deeper in? Is there something that you're like, hey man, could you make a two hour course on this topic? I think the next one that I'm considering is service workers. I think service workers are one of those newer topics that are, a lot of developers are a little bit intimidated about. And um, you know, it's really not all that complex once you, you sort of dive into it a little bit and, and get to experience it. The complex part is making it work on iOS is, is, a, is the honest answer. But I think that might be my next one. But if you guys have a, a little course that you'd like me to make, you know, let me know in the comments below. But as always, guys, thank you so much. See you next time. Check out the course. I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.